Okay, so here we are on uh, part two of uh, repairing this bike and getting it up. So I did some cleaning on it last night. We see we got a lot of the dirt off of it. Uh, there's just a lot of dirt on this bike. You know, it, it looks worse than it actually is when I first looked at it, but I think really all this bike's needs is just nobody cared for this bike at all. Uh, I can almost tell that I'm not even sure when the last time it was washed. But So I did pull one of the covers off, uh, and you can see, you know, the chrome has just gone off this. I, and again, I don't really know why that happened. I mean, it's just... I just don't get it. I've never had a bike do this on a rocker box, but you can see, you know, mechanically, I don't have a problem with this bike at all with transmission, uh, you know, clutch, uh, motor, nothing, tr carburetor. It's all running fine. This Everything I'm doing is really just cosmetic type stuff. So initially, I was going to really just replace this cover. I was going to try to find some covers like Kiriakin makes covers to fix this uh that go over this and i was going to you know do these tappet blocks next year but they didn't have a set that would fit this motor so i just ordered some new tappet blocks so we're going to do the the top and the lower uh you know rocker boxes we'll have to pull the push rods out of course to put all of those in with new gaskets and everything like that so i think i've ordered everything uh that i need i might need to order the uh, lower bolts, I don't know, I don't remember if I ordered the lower bolts or not. I'm going to check this afternoon to see if I ordered those. But everything else uh, has been ordered, so that should be in in the next few days. But there's a lot of other work that has to be done on this bike before I start doing that. Like, we got to take, we're not going to do that today because this is going to be a short video. Uh, we're going to take the carburetor off next. Uh, I've already got the ultrasonic cleaner out and the, and the solution. So we're going to do that, and then once that once that's done, we're going to work on the front end. We're going to take the tire off, and then service uh, these uh, bearings that are in here, and then put it up on the stand, and then do the uh, the head bearing, take the head bearing. In the meantime, let me show you what uh, I was doing over here. So I'll show you a picture. Uh, we did have a problem with the speedometer, and the speedometer was kind of foggy. Uh, but I did manage to get the bezel off. Let me take my glass off because I can't see it close with them on. So I did manage to get the bezel off. I'll show you a picture of what the speedometer looked like before I did this. And you can see the glass now. It's like, it's perfect. It was just dirty. And I don't know, condensation got inside. Again, this is why I'm thinking this thing was in a shed. Uh, because there was, you know, condensation in it. So I still got to do a little bit of cleaning on it, but... You know, once this goes back on, uh, you can see it's, you know, it'll go back on and we're going to seal that up. So let me uh, clean this off a little bit better and then uh, we're going to seal this back up. Okay, so we're going to clean this up one more time. Uh, it took me a while to get that. I actually had to use one of these pads to get whatever was on the inside of this thing off. I should have brought some compressed air out here to uh, make sure I clean that, but it's 100% better than what it was. Now we just need to, we just need to seal this up. So we put that on there like that. I don't care about fingerprints on the front because I'm gonna clean it anyway. But if we can get this back on, we'll be golden. I might have to bend it a little bit more. Let me get, uh, see if I got some, let me try these little pliers and I can bend this out a little bit. So sometimes you have to, you have to bend this these out just a little bit so it'll catch.
don't really see any damage to the to that so all right let me wipe this off inside one more time I haven't really touched it but I don't want it to take this apart again all right let's try that is it gonna go in this time All right, so we've got it in, cool. All right, so we got that on there now. I'll have to wash this again. So what I need to do now is uh, make sure that that's even all the way around. It looks all right. So now what I need to do is just kind of slowly, I don't know if I can get this on camera or not, but it's kind of slowly just go around bend that bezel back over and this might not be hard enough this is might be too much rubber on this so let me try uh, yeah I need I need a smaller hammer here That's pretty much all you need to do um, and you can see it you know you don't really see it because this part here is going to be underneath the bezel let me find the, the new bezel well, I keep calling this a bezel it's not a bezel but so then that is going to sit in there like that this is the new one and on the the original one this piece is all faded out so that you know you peel the back off off this and stick it on there and that here's where the the gauges go well the indicator lights go so this is brand new and uh, it looks good might have to work on on this a little bit more get it a little bit flatter but uh you know that's it that's all you got to do for to fix this gauge so let me tilt this up there that's it all right so that's going to wrap it up uh for this video this was just going to be a quick video to show you how i did this bezel uh the speedometer to take the glass off uh now whether that's going to fog, fog up again i don't know but i'm going to try this first before i went out and bought a brand new speedometer I'm going to work on it a little bit more and seal it up a little bit more um, to have that, you know, to, you, you, want to, you don't want to make it airtight. You want the gauge to breathe so in case air goes in and out of it, the pressure is different than the outside. So, all right, so don't forget to subscribe. Uh, leave me some comments. What do you think? Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.